Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. This is Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. Today, I wanted to provide a quick update from Mr. Dennis Byron. He had posted a few tweets earlier today involving a few updates regarding the Cardi B defamation case against Tasha K. And per usual, I will be putting in my description box the link to Mr. Dennis Byron's Twitter account as well as Mr. Dennis Byron's Instagram account. So you guys can be up to date with his Instagram lives and his tweets that he is um, updating the case about. So with that being said, a couple of things, and I will then react. So it says the following, um, and this was a few hours ago, on direct examination by Cardi B attorney Andrew he got Tasha Kay's husband, Mr. Kibi, to admit that his wife lied under oath the previous day. Is it true your wife lied when she said that there were several businesses under Kibi Studios? Answer, yes. With an answer like that, you don't need enemies. Gosh. There were at least four instances where Tasha Kay's husband, Mr. Kibi, refuted his wife's testimony to a point where jurors started looking at each other like they couldn't believe their ears. I can only imagine what happened when they got home. Perhaps the fact that there was a U.S. Treasury agent in the courtroom watching this testimony could have influenced his answer. In another exchange with Mr. Kibi attorney, Andrew asked him, how are you the president of Kibi Studios, but you don't have the power to remove videos after being issued cease and desist letters? Answer, my wife makes those decisions. Hashtag SMH. Cardi B attorney Sarah Mates asked Tasha K in front of the jury, is it a fact that you testified in your deposition that you thought it was funny to say hashtag Cardi B had HPV? Answer, Yes. In another bizarre exchange with Tasha K attorney Sarah Mates on her direct examination, isn't it true that you lied on your deposition when you provided a date when you put up a video defaming my client? Answer, I made up a date because you were being combative towards me. Attorney Mates then told Judge Tasha K was being non responsive to the question, and then Judge Ray warned the defendant not to do it again. Again, she admitted to perjuring herself in a sworn deposition. To say what's convenient and not the truth shows the level of lies she tells. Attorney Sarah Mates asked defendant Tasha Kay, is it a fact the video of your interview with Star Marie Jones has over 3 million views and is still up to this day? Answer, no, it has over 4.8 million views. Hashtag cocky much? And that is the latest that I have. OMG. So Tasha K basically lied in her deposition and she's lied on the stand as well. And her husband, Mr. Kibi, also has confirmed that Tasha Kay has lied under oath in front of the U.S. Treasury agent that was there to follow the money. So, and here's the thing, no U.S. Treasury agent is just sitting in the courtroom for nothing. So there is definitely something going on, whether an investigation is ongoing at the moment or will be at the conclusion of this case, but they are definitely going to be following this money, following any issues, any tax evasion, any type of things that are sus because U.S. Treasury agents aren't just sitting in a federal courtroom for nothing. So that's on that. But I'm just curious in terms of what this strategy is because up until this point, there really hasn't been anything of significance from Tasha Kay's attorneys that I felt as though they were doing anything of a good job at all. So either Kibi saw the treasury agent and was like, you know what, 
I'm not going to try to BS these people. I'm not going to try to lie under oath or corroborate anything that my wife had said the other day. I'm just going to tell the truth as I see it. Or is this a strategy for Mr. Kibi to separate himself from the wife to set her up so that she is the only person that goes down for this defamation case? Or is this a strategy to try to protect Kibi Studios as a whole? And that's what I want to know. But with the amounting evidence that was presented the past couple of days against Tasha K, I just cannot see a situation where she's not held liable for this. And the Kibi Studios is going to have to come out of pocket and that she's going to have to come out of pocket with the revenue that she's getting from these Cardi B videos that she still has up on her page. So it could be the husband setting her up. It could be a strategy. We'll have to see how this plays out. But it's just not looking good either way for Tasha K. And I don't know if she just assumed that Cardi B was making, you know, statements that she wasn't going to follow up on this legally, or she never thought that this was going to go to the magnitude of court, or maybe she thought she had an open and shut case, a slam dunk case against Cardi B, and thought that pretty much she could get away with everything that she's been saying and doing because she is a quote unquote, you know, celebrity entertainment news gossip reporter, blogger, whatever, and didn't think that anything she said, even if she knows that it's a lie, would come back to bite her. Which, with how she's been conducting herself, I'm not surprised she probably thinks that. Because a lot of people have been saying she's been very arrogant in this courtroom and has shown no remorse, no empathy, nothing to indicate that she feels any sort of way that any about anything that she said. And she continues to brag about her million subscribers and continues to brag about the millions of views these Cardi B videos are racking up on her page. So this will be interesting to see how this plays out and what comes of this. I cannot wait until Tuesday. I am grateful, of course, for the holiday weekend. However, I want to get back to this case as soon as possible. I want to hear the closing arguments. I want to hear how long it takes the jury to deliberate. I hope it doesn't take them long at all and we can hurry up and get that verdict and move forward. But I just, the past few days have been something of this case. But I also want to say once more, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to Mr. Dennis Byron. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to Mr. Choke No Joke for your live and wall-to-wall -wall coverage of what has been going on in this courtroom and providing us these updates. We are grateful. We appreciate all of it. And it has been amazing to react to what you guys are reporting and breaking everything down further. Completely appreciate all of it. And like I said, I will put the link, of course, to... Mr. Dennis Byron's Twitter account and his Instagram account in my description box so you can go to both of his social media pages and not only follow him but also see what the latest things that he is saying as well and be notified of any time that he goes live if he goes if he decides to go live at any point this weekend to give any more additional updates that he didn't feel like tweeting a whole bunch of stuff or what have you so I will be sure to have that so you guys can follow him and also be up to date on things as well. But let me know your guys' thoughts. React. What do you think the angle is for the husband basically being truthful as he can be and refuting essentially a lot of things that Tasha Kate said on the stand the day before? 
Is it a strategy? Or did he see, was he shook by the U.S. Treasury agent there and just decided, you know what, I'm not going to play this game? Or has he always been somebody who was never supportive of blatantly lying for money that he wanted to make sure he was completely truthful so that nothing happens to them? Or is this a setup that he just wants his wife to go away? Is he just setting her up so that she can get perjury charges, so that she can get all these additional charges, and he can ride off into the sunset with the revenue from her show? What is your thoughts? What do you think the angle is? Because even if people are thinking or possibly thinking that this was a strategy to potentially make everything uh, be Tasha Kay's fault, the reactions in the courtroom suggest otherwise. Suggest that they were shocked that he was corroborating nothing that Tasha Kay said. So on one end, yes, it looks like to a degree he's a human being, but to another degree, it's like, okay, are you just done with your wife? Or are you thinking if only making this all about your wife, you won't be held liable, even though you have 50% ownership in the company that is producing this content and you have admitted in the past that you have filmed these episodes, you do the editing, you do the publishing and everything else that goes on. So technically you do have the power to remove the videos. But again, blaming your wife for everything could have been the strategy or you saw how bad it was for her on the stand and you were like, I'm not taking any part of this. Because they've already had the U.S. Marshals in this courtroom and now the U.S. Treasury agent when they're discussing the business on the stand. It's no joke. Whatever happens with this case, this is not going to be the end of the investigation of Tasha Kay and her husband and their business practices. Like I said, if there's tax evasion going on, if there's other potential fraudulent or suspect things going on, they're going to get to the bottom of it and they're going to make sure that Cardi B's lawyers are going to attack at every angle of every business venture that they have that has profited off of slandering and defaming Cardi B. So this definitely isn't over by any stretch of the imagination. I definitely think there is more that meets the eye with this. I definitely do. And I don't think it's positive for Tasha K in any capacity. So that is all of my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree or disagree? What do you think the angles are? Those of you watching my channel for your first time, welcome so much. Please, please, please. I have a playlist on my channel specifically for this Cardi B defamation case against Tasha K that has all of my live updates. I think the first video was primarily the billboard updates, but the rest of my updates are strictly from everything that Dennis Byron has either posted or went live on, as well as Choke No Jokes live commentary and kind of just a condensed, brief, concise summary of what they've said and what they've been reporting. So please check those out. It's about eight, nine, ten videos or so, but it has everything from the first four days of this trial this week and everything that has happened with the testimony, the cross-examination, the reactions to the jurors, everything that's going on in the courtroom. So please check those out if you haven't already, if you want to get update information, because I know not everybody is chronologically going through everything that's happening. And you'll notice there are certain people who are not touching this at all, who are not posting any content on their page about this at all. So I want to give you guys the most up-to-date information that I have so you guys can formulate your own opinions and have everything that you need to react. So let me know what you guys think. 
Those of you who've been back multiple times, thank you so much for your continued support. I am grateful, thankful, and appreciative of you. I read all of your comments. I try to interact with you guys when I get some downtime and everything else, but I appreciate all the support. I appreciate how quickly we have grown. I am grateful for everyone. I am grateful for the new subscribers, the new people who are continuing to tune into this channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And again, I foresee there being additional updates this weekend. Even though we don't have another date, trial date, until Tuesday, I foresee that Mr. Dennis Byron is going to bless us with more information. I just have a feeling. So I definitely will update as soon as he provides that. So, but... With that being said, I will talk to you guys again soon. Have an amazing rest of your day and have an amazing weekend. Talk to you guys later.